what's up people welcome back to my youtube channel good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time meets you if you're just watching me for the first time my name is lizzie and if this video helps you in any way then be sure to thumbs me up subscribe like and share and i want to see you all in the comment section for returning subscribers you guys are the best today i'm going to be showing you all how to tie your ghillie with a satin material and if it's not difficult at all if only you can follow the simple steps that i'm going to be showing you guys today i love you all so much so the rule for this particular tutorial today is 80 20 one hand of um, the satin material has to be longer than the other hand of the material Okay, so the first thing I did was to fold the edges of the material and after doing that on her head, I made about 5 pleats on her head. So you are going to be making these pleats depending on how long your material is or how short it is. So I'm going to make sure that I form a V, a V shape in front of her head. But I'm in order for me to achieve this V, I'll have to make sure that the longer hand of the material goes behind her ear while the shorter hand of the material covers her ear in front and that's the hand that I am holding right now. So I'm just going to bring it to the, form, um, to the front and form some pleats. Okay guys, so I'm done making my pleats. I'm just going to pin that hand, which is the 20 part of the, the material down there so that everything does not unravel and so that it stays in place. So I'm going to be picking up the 80 part of the material right now, which is the longer hand of the material. And I'm just going to make ruffles with this hand. I did something similar in my previous video. The only difference is this one is going to go all the way from this side of her face to the other side of her face. So I'm just going to be making ruffles from um, on this side of her face all the way to the other side of her face. And it's not difficult if you just follow these steps that I'm going to be showing you all right now. So guys, when you're done making your ruffles, you want to make sure that you pin it down so that it doesn't unravel. And you have to make sure that you pin properly because it's a satin material and it's not too, too strong like the usual um, ghillie material. So you just want to make sure that you pin each ruffle down so that it doesn't unravel at any point in time. What I'm doing in this video is just picking the material up and making some pleats which is called a ruffle because this one is not in a precise manner at all. So I'm just going to be holding the material up, making some pleats and pinning the ruffles down. So like I said, because I don't want it to unravel. So I'm going to be doing this all the way to the other side of her face.
I want to quickly point this out. If you're going to be tying this material on anyone's head at all, your client, your model, or on your head, you want to make sure that you have a clear measurement as to how this material would look on their heads. What I mean is if you're going to be starting with two ruffles, you want to make sure that you measure from the beginning properly so that you still have space, you still have enough space to put the remaining three ruffles, four ruffles or five ruffles depending on what you want. So I do hope that you guys get the point. If you've not turned on your notification buttons, please do that so that each time I post, you will definitely be the first to know. So this is the remaining part of the 80 gilly um, of the 80 material I mean to say I'm just going to twist that hand to the back and pin it there as you can see right now her hair is properly made so I'm just going to be opening the material at the back Okay guys, so this is just about the end of the tutorial. At this point, I'm just going to be arranging the pleats properly so that it comes out really, really beautiful and nice. I'm just going to be arranging it to my taste. I love you guys so much. I do hope that this tutorial has helped you. If it has, don't be shy to thumbs me up, subscribe, like and share. And like I said, please turn on your notification buttons so that each time I post, you will definitely get a notification and you will be the first to know. I love you guys so much and I just can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.